So I've got this Insignia digital photo frame. Now plus a few extra scratches. But that's not the big problem with this thing. The big problem with this thing is it won't read the media card. The only thing it reads is internal memory. The pictures that came with it. If I try to read any of the other cards such as USB, compact flash, well, I don't have a USB card for it, all I have is a compact flash. I mean a SD card, it won't read them. The problem with this older technology is this was made before SD cards came in larger sizes than two gigabytes and the same goes for USB. You can't put a card in that's larger than two gigabytes on this unit. So I had a heck of a time when my the first time the cat knocked this thing down I had a two gig USB stick on it that got broken. I was lucky to be able to find a 2 gig SD card to put my photos on and had it displayed. And the same cat knocked it down again and now it doesn't read. So before throwing this thing in the garbage I'm going to uh, pop it apart and see whether the problem is one that's solvable or whether I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and buy a new one. So we'll just pop the, the back off this thing and I, I've never been in one of these things before so I don't even know how they come apart. But this thing should pop apart I would think. And they're going to check and see if maybe a connection's broken or a plug has been knocked out or connectors come apart. Something that would explain why none of the memory uh, cards work. So to open these units up, you kind of have to, there's, there's some plastic catches on the top here. You have to kind of pry them apart. And there's going to probably be one on each side. Maybe more than one. Looks like there's a couple of them. There's a couple of them on, on the side here. there'll probably be another couple of them on the top. Now the screen itself is connected to the board so I don't want it to fly apart too fast. I don't want to break anything in here so we're just kind of carefully just popping it apart like this. Okay. Now that we've got the screen separated from the rest of the circuit board, we have a, a connector here, which is probably for the backlight. We'll just disconnect that connector. Or this one. Now this might be for the backlight. I think this, one, this, this other connector down here is probably for the remote control. So we'll disconnect those two. And now we can see the screen and the circuit board separated. Now if I lift off this tape that holds this connector shut, I should be able to open up this connector here. That'll allow me to work on the board separate. So we're just gonna push open the connector and just lift the connector out like that. Now we've got the screen separate. And I can work on this board separately. I'm going to lift the board out and see whether the connectors for the card readers are damaged. Okay. I was going to inspect these connectors here and see whether there's something that's obvious that's damaged on them. So 
These are the uh, connections I'm looking at here. I'm just looking at these ones down here on the, the SD card. Looking for any small cracks that may have formed when the unit hit the floor. Because uh, it was working fine until the cat knocked it down. It fell down about two feet. So somewhere along the, the, the somewhere along this uh, in this event, something's been damaged on the board here. I can't test the USB because I don't have a USB stick smaller than two gigs. The same as I can't test the compact flash because I don't have a compact flash smaller than two gigs. The only one I'm actually able to test is the SD card. Again, because this is the only 2 gig SD card that I have. I know the SD card works because I can put it in my computer and read it. So, something on this board, and of course the other types of cards, the multimedia cards and everything, they're all read with this combination uh, plug. So I'm concentrating looking at this to see whether the problem's in here. Just going to stare at it a little bit more and see whether I can see anything that's obvious with it. So, I think we're going to try and resolder some of these... Uh, pins here on this SD reader and see that perhaps there's the problem here. Now what this rosin, liquid rosin does, it allows the solder to adhere to the, the board and to the pins. Okay, now we've resoldered the pins. Let's just try connecting the LCD up and see if it's going to read any better. So to do that, we're going to reconnect our connector here. I'm going to do this before putting it into the case. And uh, we'll be able to test it. And then we'll reconnect the connector for the light, the backlight source, and got our SD card over here, plug our SD card in, I won't bother connecting up the, um, the remote control at this point, but we'll just see whether this thing's going to work, okay, there it is, it's loading up, and if I see my pictures on here, then I'll know it's working. I would say it's working. Those are my pictures. So what happened when the uh, unit hit the ground? I guess one of those solder connections, uh, and a few of them kind of looked a little uh, off, and that's exactly what happened. It, it fractured one of the connections, and I just put some rosin on there and hit it with the soldering iron, refloat all the connections, and. As you can see, my digital photo frame lives to see another day. So we'll just put this back together. It's going to have to disconnect everything again here because I have to uh, mount the board back in its cabinet. I don't know whether I can do that without disconnecting this connector or not. I probably have to disconnect the connector. 
yet. I'm gonna have to, unfortunately. Do it. Place the board back in. Flat. 